welcome. As you can see, I've received a lot of samples of filaments, so we should probably do a video about that, right? Okay, so we received these uh, samples from a few different suppliers. Uh, mostly it's from Verbatin, uh, which are a traditional uh, manufacturer of um, uh, consumables in different grades. So I think it's really cool that they're targeting the 3D printed market as well. Uh, we also have some samples from Polymaker and let's see here, Verbatin, Polymaker and Sakata3D.com which is a softer PLA material. So let's go through which ones they are and then we'll start testing. I'll probably divide these into three movies since it take, takes a bit to, to try out this many materials and, and to make a good video about it. So hopefully you can stay tuned for that. So let's start off with the polymaker materials. So we have a um, fully support material, which is kind of cool. It's made for rinsing away, so it's easier to make uh, support material. Uh, I'll try this on PLA and ABS and, and possibly even pet ghee, just to see how well it sticks. So I don't have that much, it'll probably be a few smaller samples, uh, maybe a, just a small calibration model or something like that, just to, just to see how it works. Uh, we also have Polymax, which is a, um, a PLA material. Uh, 50 meters of that, so uh, it's going to be interesting to try as well. And then we have the Polyflex, which is a soft uh, material from, from uh, Polymaker. Uh, around 50 meters of that as well. So what's nice with Polymaker is that they uh, specify that it's for testing, so this may, may not represent the final product. Hopefully, if, if you find any issues or so, uh, they will have time to, to um, edit that before final production. They also specify settings here, which I really like, that uh, helps, helps you finding the, the settings that you need. So, with that said, Polymaker's out. Uh, we also have a sample here from uh, Sakata 3D. Um, so it's a... Uh, I'm just going to read here from the paper, because... Uh, 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 uh. It's according to a uh, Ian Stander, which is really good. No toxic smoke, printing temperature is 155 to 160, so it's kind of low temperature. But it's a, it's a flexible uh, uh, PLA that, that is biodegradable, which is really nice. Feels good, feels um, like a rubbery uh, finish compared to TPU uh, or Ninja Flex. This feels more like an eraser or similar. It's uh, really nice. Uh, there's some settings here as well, um, some specifications on, uh, on the material itself. Anyways, that's that. And then we have a lot of test bags from um, Verbatrin. So we have here in the first one, we have uh, 1.75 millimeter ABS green, uh, 1.75 millimeter PLA yellow, and some white 2.85 millimeters for Ultimakers. We also, from Verbatin, we have something called uh, Prima Loy. It's uh, flexible as well. Interesting. We also have uh, more 2.85 for Ultimaker. So we have PLA uh, blue, PLA yellow, ABS transparent, ABS black. And if that wasn't enough, we also have some MCC PLA um, in 1.75 and 2.85. I'm not completely sure what this uh, MCC is, but it's uh, it feels really strong, uh, really firm. It's for testing purposes only as well. And then we have something called BVOH. Looks like, uh, I think it's PVA, so it's water soluble. Uh, I need to double check that. And then we have some more 1.75 millimeter PLA. Uh, uh, white and black, and then some ABS transparent and some ABS green. And then last but not least, we have some Verbatrin um, uh, PET. So we're gonna try that as well, and as you can see, it's transparent. So that's a good amount of samples, so <laughs> you can really say that this is gonna be a, a good printing week. There's gonna be a bunch of tests, so uh, hopefully you enjoy it, you can stay tuned if you want, and we'll start off with... Sakata 3D. So we'll start off the, with the shorter ones so the video don't get so long. So we'll start off with that. We'll run it in 
uh, Replicator 2x, we'll run it in Flashers Dreamer. We can even try it in the Flashers Finder if I have enough. But I think those machines represent when I mean, our, our Replicator 2x is a uh, all metal hot end, so that represents that part of it. And then the Flashers Dreamer has a, um, a PTFE tube, so you get the two two different kinds of uh, extruders. So we'll try that first. So let's go testing. So as usual, we'll start off here by uh, uh, unloading the previous filaments and load some new one. Sorry about the background noise. There's uh, some cars in the uh, in the background here. All right. So as you can see, we have these here, the Creative Tools feeder blocks, 3D printable, of course. So this should be a little bit easier uh, using softer materials. So there we go, it's starting to pull down now. This is 230 degrees, so I kind of want to do this really quickly since the material is supposed to use around 155. You can change that in the settings, but I'm just going to go quick and dirty here. Also want to make sure that the filament extrudes under the machine here. As you can see now, there comes white filaments. So that's all. I'm going to press finish and it stops feeding. I can feel here that it actually pulls down pretty well. Alright, so I'm just going to drag this filament from the side going up and into the machine so hopefully that will be fine uh, it's just gonna heat up yeah it's pushing out is it sticking uh, not that well maybe it's just going too fast over there hmm having some issue getting it to stick I think we have to do that again. Doesn't look that good. Yep, so before anything, I'm just gonna clean the build plate as well. Just to make sure no dust and stuff or fingerprints are there. So there we go. Now we can start to print again. I think that seems to stick much, much, much better. Yeah. So cleaning the build plate and just raising the temperature to 65 degrees from 40. This looks pretty good. Yeah, the second nozzle still kind of <laughs> ruins it for us. Let's see if uh, if that will work anyways. Nah. The second nozzle it's uh, is uh, is really like a troublemaker here. Let's see if we can get a little bit closer. So I'm just removing here the left nozzle, just to simulate a single uh, all-metal all hot end uh, here on the right side. So it's now running much better without the left nozzle. So you can see it's, it's printing along. We'll just have to wait and see how the result is, but it's looking good at 7%. It's a little bit sticky, but it's a Replicator 2X, not meant for PLA. So I'm going to be excited to see it in the other, uh, the Dreamer, later. So overall it looks pretty okay. Um, but the retraction, and there's something going on with the, um, the infill that doesn't look in order. So this is probably a little bit of the settings, but I've tried a few times now. I think this is the fourth or fifth Benchy. Um, so we're having some issues compared to, to regular uh, material so we're probably gonna b abandon this all hot, all metal hot end without any um, PLA cooler and, and we should be able to try the dreamer for example you see how that performs again more or less the same procedure here when loading you want to be fairly quick so it keeps feeding uh, despite that the temperature is way too high it's it's almost 230 degrees. So let's just cancel that since we're loaded. Yeah, puts down a line. But it's not extruding really well. At 
least the nozzle doesn't hit it. <laughs> yeah, it's really difficult to see her on the camera, sorry about that. Uh, I'm gonna let it go and see, see what happens. Okay, so we need to do something about this result. Uh, <laughs> doesn't look that good. Nope. Uh, okay, back to the drawing board. So it's now much, looking much, much better uh, within the, the dreamer here. So I raised the temperature to 210, 215 degrees. Let's see. You can see the lines are much, much, much better. So this is also where we are with the Replicator 2X. So I'm gonna change the start and stop procedure so it starts and stops a little bit better and a little bit less extrusion. So uh, I just cut off a little bit too little material. I'm just gonna have to fill that up. Yeah, it looks pretty good. There's a little bit of uh, stripes in the model, but it's looking good. So you see the Benchy on the Dreamer? It looks really good. I think I managed to get the settings correct. So I thought that I learned about the settings on the Replicator 2X, but it doesn't really seem to work without a cooling fan. Um, some of the layers are okay, but as you can see in the front, it doesn't really work. Alright, so the Dreamer is ready. I think that looks pretty good. So there is a little bit of a heating issue, or a flow issue. This is a little bit of over extrusion, but I think it looks really good. Yeah, it's not really better. It's still a front that, that screws up, which is interesting. There we have it. It doesn't really look good, but it's, uh, it's yeah. I, I can't figure out what's wrong with the settings. This is uh, about as good as it will get. Hmm. Alright, so to conclude the material from Sakata 3D, uh, the biodegradable flexible filament, to, to conclude it's really difficult uh, to adjust the settings. What they uh, said on the, on the box I think is way off, so you need to have some adjustments. Uh, I, I used all the filament that I got, so I haven't been able to perfect the uh, results, but I think I've come and, uh, came a long way. Uh, so you can see here, these are the Replicator 2X. Mm, kind of difficult without a PLA cooler or um, using an all, all metal hot end. Maybe it's not due to the all metal hot end, but at least no cooling. The temperatures was, were really difficult to, to get a hold of. On the Festivus Dreamer, I used more or less the same first as the Replicator 2X settings, but they, that turned out to be way too low temperature, so only, only some strings on that. And then on the second attempt, I think I got a pretty pretty decent benchy. I think there's a little bit of over extrusion, but very little. Uh, the things you see here are usually due to um, uh, issues with uh, the filament being soft. So when the nozzle hits, it kind of wobbles everything, which means that you don't really get much better uh, result than that. Otherwise, I think the, the downside is pretty okay as well. So I would say um, for Flash Wars Dreamer, it's it's okay for Replicator 2X or without the PLA cooler. I, I think it's just getting too hot, basically. And here in the beginning, I was um, uh, I'm using randomized uh, start and end points, but that doesn't really seem to help on the Replicator 2X, as you can see, it's not really good. So um, if you want to see more. Um, I've linked the article in the description where you can see all the settings I was using within Simplify 3D and I'm just showing some more pictures talking about the product as in whole. Uh, so with that said, uh, you should say tune and you should say subscribe for next episode where I'll try out these cool materials from Polymaker. So we have the Poly Supports, we have the Polymax, nice, and the Polyflex, bendable. Awesome, see you next time. Bye.